<laughs> no, and they still run it pretty well. You know, outside of Chicago, this is, you know, year after year, one of the best time-wise marathons there is in, in this country. A Boston as well. A Boston's a downhill course. Oh! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he had to cross then. He made, he made it a crowd, but he didn't see that. The yeah. Yeah. That, that was dangerous. That was yeah. uh, dangerous, dangerous. Very dangerous. Because we know there's a big gap behind her. Look, there's still people coming. Yeah. Well, there's somebody coming. That's a guy. That's a male runner. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's a male runner. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. So maybe I, she's thinking at this point, well, let no, me not let that guy catch me. That finish line we'll cannot come anything. soon enough for her right now. Well, she went out and really, went. really fast. I mean, her first part, I mean, she, there's no question. Both the men's field and this field, they, they thought today was going to be a record-type day. They got the, the Pacers to do it. The Pacers pulled them through at good paces. Re really went after it. And, and sometimes if you go out too fast, it makes it, you, you, as an overall pack, you end up struggling a little bit. And that's what we're seeing, I think, from the overall pack. You didn't expect Brooke Tyke to get to be that far behind, what did is you? This, what is that guy doing? <laughs> he's, you know, he's, guy, he's giving her guidance where to go. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, got yeah, one yeah. over. He's, he's hard to say, say, this, say to the cone because the wheelchair is coming, so. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You didn't expect the rest of the women to be that far behind, though, did you? Oh, not at all. I thought, well, actually, what I thought is the Geffa was the one who'd run 222, thought, yeah, if possible. And we're thought, used to seeing the Geffa at the front of the pack. Right, and sure. I figured either either Escala, there's only a couple of women I thought could even contend with their Shuko Wodo and Escala Merkai. Her PR prior to this is 224.13 from L.A. back in April of last year. So she's going to, I think no matter what, she's going to, I think she's going to have a personal best. I think she's going to make this turn in a second. I don't think she's that far away from mm -hmm. us at this point. And do we know where in the men's race, El Abasi from Bahrain finished? He was one of the fastest, actually fastest Bahrainian runner ever. Uh, I didn't see him come in. It'll okay. be interesting. He ran the half year last year and right. didn't, didn't run great Very well. for him. I mean, it's still 62 minutes, but for someone of his caliber, that was a little bit off. He isn't not, he's probably Meb's age. <laughs> no, he's a little bit, uh, he's 35 or 36 years old. He's kind of in that bubble area of being at the end of his career. Unless you're Meb and you go on three or four more years after that. <laughs> but normally that's kind of the end of it. There she is. There she is. She, Azkali of Ethiopia in 223.30, it looked like. That's just off what uh, uh, the Geffa ran last year. 